Hey guys, it's Spooky Noodles, and I've come with another book review. Now, this book was, <laughs> I don't know what to rate it. it I, I, you know what, I think I'll give it three and a half stars. And the book that I'm rating right now is The Manitou. Manitou, I believe that's how you say it. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I, I believe I've heard in the audiobook that he said Manitou. So that's what I'm going with. And as you see, it says, as spine chilling as the omen, more terrifying than the exorcist. The powerful novel of horror, vengeance, and sorcery. And does it live to, up to the hype that the book cover of the book is saying? I, I uh... Well, I, I definitely think The Exorcist was more terrifying than this book. And I haven't actually seen The Omen. I've seen the remake of it. So I don't, I can't recall the old one. So I don't know about The Omen, but The Exorcist was more spookier than this book. Um, and this book, before I talk any more about it, it, um... You know, I, I, I should just tell you what it's about. So basically, this lady gets a tumor, and the doctors are baffled by it. You know, in the prologue, it talks about the bafflement of these doctors. And, uh... It... It turns out that there's a uh, Native American, um... She's harboring a Native American in her neck, or wherever this tumor is. And, uh, it turns out that, uh, he's from way back when, like, in the 1800s. And he's a sorcerer, a medicine man. And he, uh, uses a spell and kills himself in order to come back in the future and get his revenge. And, uh, yeah. And... The way that they defeat him is kind of, you know, like... Lately, I haven't been liking the endings of books. So, this was kind of refreshing because the ending was pretty good. But at the same time, it wasn't. Now, that might be confusing, but, you know, hear me out. Uh, so, first of all, let me show you this awesome book I got. Look at the die cut. Look at... Boom. Boom got the medicine man and you got the girl that he's being harbored in it is such a cool cover did i say it was by grandmaster tim i think i did i'm not sure but um yeah it says it's more terrifying than the exorcist and i i think that's wrong um i definitely correct me if i'm wrong but i get a lovecraftian feel for from this book like it's definitely like one of those books where like the scene is ineffable like like they're trying to describe these monsters that they have to, these Indian gods or not Indian Native American gods um, and yeah it, it's and then at the end they even talk about uh, summoning the great old one you know and that's I mean, every time I hear about the great old one, I'm thinking about Lovecraft, you know? So, I definitely get a Lovecraft feel from this book. And I think that's good, you know? I like the book a lot, uh, but there was just so many things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I can't recall what they were at the moment, but uh, yeah, I just, I, I listened to this book about two days ago. I finished it all in one day, and uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was a really good book, and you can tell it's not that big of a book, you know, so. But overall, the Manitou was, I keep wanting to say Manatee, <laughs> but it's Manitou. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, here's the back. I forgot to show you guys the back. I'm sorry about that. I'm not on my A game today. 
Now this definitely dates itself because they're calling them Indians and they're calling them Redskins. And that's obviously offensive today. Sorry, my dog's crying in the background. She wants to be downstairs with her friend, dog. Now she's throwing a fit. She throws tantrums all the time. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Uh, this book has definitely got a Lovecraftian feel to it. That's, I think, what I was saying. Um, it, it dates itself. That's what I was talking about. It dates itself with some of the derogatory terms, like redskins and stuff. I have another book I'm reading that calls Mexican greaseballs and wetbacks, which aggravates me. But uh, sometimes you just got to get over it, you know, and walk the bridge, I guess you can say, because it's not always going to be fun, you know, reading these old books, but the old books they're old you know they have some you know people just believe that's what they were called back then it's wrong but you know it's in order to enjoy a story you have to overlook some things you know so i overlooked when the narrator would call someone a, a redskin i just overlooked it you know and, and i know the indian thing like even today we still call Native Americans Indians which is so wrong because they're not from India so why would they be Indians you know but uh, Native Americans is what I refer to them as because they were native to America so yeah Lula stop don't give me that look anyways I hope you enjoyed this review, it was a short review, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This has been The Man Who by Graham Masterton, and this has been Spooky Noodles, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Alright, peace out.